Hello and welcome back to New and Old Survival. Today I want to discuss maybe a couple of EDC items um, that you probably haven't thought about. And I hope you don't mind, but I'm going to be chawing down on my barbecue raccoon. You saw in the last video that we harvested a raccoon from here. And the reason that we did that is not really because we needed the meat, but we plan to keep chickens and we want to make sure that there are less raccoons which so far has decimated about 50 of our chickens that we keep for egg laying um, and we help friends and family out with fresh eggs so one of the things I wanted to discuss and I'm going to talk with my mouth full but I'll try to keep it out of the camera view is a couple of EDC items. They're cutting tools that you may probably haven't thought about and the reasons why. Uh, the first item, let me give a little bit of background why I EDC this item. And if you don't know what EDC means, uh, most do, but some do not. It stands for everyday carry. This means every single day you're going to have this on your person, in your purse, in your wallet, uh, in your boot, attached to you in some form or fashion. Now, I EDC a firearm and a Leatherman Super Tool 300, which gives me a lot of options. Uh, for being able to fix things, create things, and it also is an uh, implemental cutting tool as well. It, actually, the one that I carry, the knife blade has never ever touched anything, so it remains razor sharp. Uh, in addition to that, I also carry a tourniquet and medical shears because if I'm going to carry a firearm, then I want to make sure that just in case I have to render first aid to myself or to someone else in a life-threatening situation that I have a means to stop blood flow and I may have to have those medical shears to be able to uh, access and uh, evaluate the situation. Uh, also I carry a couple of extra mags for my weapon and a good flashlight is actually a 1300 lumen flashlight with strobe I like strobe some people say it's useless but I think it not only saves battery life but it can also be used uh, for instance if you're on the side of a highway and you need just to get that attention people will notice a strobe versus just a straight beam of light uh, that they may disregard as a reflection or something like that. So, uh, I also carry a multitude of knives, uh, other knives in my pocket. I have one that actually I just used for cleaning my fingernails. Uh, excuse me. One is a Gerber EAB, like Echo Alpha Bravo. And it's the older generation. I do have the newer generation, EAB. Uh, just in case something happens to this, I lose it, what have you. So I have a backup for that. And um, then in my other pocket, I carry chapstick so I can use it on my lips. I can use it as a flame extender if I have a cotton material. I keep a uh, small Bic lighter wrapped with duct tape usually gorilla tape is what I have on there now and that can be used also for in place of a steri strip or for gear repair clothing repair um, you can fix a lot of stuff with duct tape and uh, let's see I'm trying to think what else I have in my pocket over here um, besides the fire starter back to our topic a couple of items that you probably haven't thought about is um, they're considered cutting tools and the first one that I want to go over 
and why. The first tool is a folding pair of scissors and these happen to be the slip and snip, you know, put a picture up, made in the USA. They're not the ones from uh, Walmart or China Mart and um, these are very, very good, durable scissors. To preface why I carry it, I, I'd actually started carrying them before the need arose. Uh, about eight years ago, nine years ago, I was at work and I do work with my wife. A lot of people think that that causes problems, but honestly people, we can't get enough of time together and that's just a blessing from God. So she calls me and she had went to pick up my son from school and he was very very young at the time and he had gotten a hold of a electrical tie or a zip tie what I call them and he put it around his wrist and figured out how to put the two together and kind of cinched it down well what happened was once he cinched it down he noticed that his hands going numb is starting to turn blue he knew it wasn't right even at that young age and so and in his uh, fear anguish he pulls it which of course exacerbated the problem so she calls me once she knows now think about this is only around his wrist if it had been around his neck that would have been so much more but she calls me and, and frantic and almost screaming crying and uh, I don't know what to do I said I'll meet you halfway beto between where I work and where the school is so we did and I pulled out my little scissors unfolded them and went in and cut the cable tie. I do, like I said, carry multiple knives, but when you're dealing with, um, you know, being this close on a child that you don't know is going to jerk away, uh, do whatever, I did not want to keep a blade that close to his wrist. These scissors are sort of a dull point. They're not like a cuticle scissor point. And so um, these scissors went in very nicely. I was able to cut the cable tie away and all as well. Um, these scissors actually I have seen. I'm not going to demonstrate it but when, especially when they're brand new, they have the ability to cut a penny in half. So very, very uh, good, strong scissors that just simply fold away, excuse me. And if I had to guess, probably around three ounces. So uh, they always have a place in my pocket. Another good reason that I carry them is I have a cutting tool that airlines allow. So I have a cutting tool, not only that, but by using one of the uh, edges, hope that focuses okay, I can scrape a ferro rod if I need it without using my knife, which is needed in various applications. But being able to get on an airplane and most of the time I just carry a fanny pack and toss these in along with my other items that I know will fly and uh, and get on the plane I have never ever ever been questioned I have had a P38 can opener removed from my person because uh, I don't know if they thought I was going to unzip somebody I don't know but I have never ever ever had this pair of scissors removed from me 
I actually have them uh, stashed in pretty much all of my go bags or bug out bags, uh, dodge bags, inch bag, whatever you want to call them. But, and all of those are acronyms. And, uh, but I have scissors in all of those bags as well as on my person at all times. You could use these for uh, gutting fish if you, you could always uh, go in and, you know, before you clean the entrails out if you was not able to have a knife on you. But also the P38 can also do that. So I recommend this, and that's just a bonus in here, is carry a P38. It folds flat, you can open canned food, and if you look up the 40 or 50 different uses for a P38 can opener, they will amaze you. Uh, so I digress. The other item that I'm going to discuss is the Lowly Bic Razor. Now this is something that I had not thought about until a couple of weeks ago when I was talking to someone, one of my friends, and they uh, have been involved with going out of the country and rescuing uh, families, children from the uh, sex trade. So he said, I always carry this with me. I always leave the country in a beard. But if you know that I come back slick, then you know I had to evade people. What this means is he had to change his appearance so he was not as identifiable. So uh, women, it may not help you as much with shaving your beard and mustache, but this pair of scissors that we just talked about, certainly, unless you have short, short hair, can alter your appearance to where you can evade uh, people that are looking for you in troublesome times. This, um, if you are really, really keen, you can dismantle the blades from these and use them as a cutting tool, but this also will fly on an airplane. So, I uh, just wanted to throw that out there. I'm going to get back to eating my barbecue raccoon and uh, I just want to say that I really appreciate you watching this video and be sure to hit the like subscribe right now we're being censored anybody that's pro second amendment actually pro first amendment is being censored and we want to combat those odds and you can do that by hitting like and if you're watching this channel for the first time subscribe to new and old survival i try my best to get a new video every week with content that's perhaps different than what's already out there but sometimes i will re-echo uh, something that i think my viewers may not have seen already god bless you i hope that 2021 is a year of prosperity health and wealth and uh Remember, our wealth is not in tangible items. Our wealth relies in our faith because all of this stuff that we see around us is only temporary. This world will pass away. But Jesus said, my words will never pass away. I hope to see you on another video soon. God bless you. As I said, thanks for watching New and Old Survival. And I'll see you soon in another video.